My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb Jake. The sports? Jim, Chris Bryant, Colorado Rocky nowadays, you might remember him as an MVP from the Cubbies, had his Lamborghini stolen uh, tastefully because he just thought he was shipping it. Turned out it was a whole gone in 67 sec. 67 seconds type ordeal. Okay, let's run. Set to be picked up from his house by a transport company. The transport company got hacked. That's a good... If you're in the car stealing business, this feels like plan A. I don't... They give you the luxury car. You just get the car. You show up and you drive it away and then they got to figure it out, which they did five days later. I know they got... Dat Viet 2? Yeah. 58-year-old Dat Viet 2, man based in Texas, was flying into Las Vegas, and they caught him driving the car in Las Vegas, and he said, I'm just a mechanic. That's a, that's a, t- I'm the mechanic. They, they say he wasn't really part of it. They just say he was a lead to figuring out who did it. And maybe he is a mechanic. Dat Viet 2. Two. Jim, what was this almost a breakdown you wanted to tell the people about the future of football? Utah High School is changing the game. Survivor and MTV, the challenge where they drop shit from helicopters on the beach and everyone chases and grabs it. And they said, we'll do that. This is the state championship game between two schools, Monticello and Rich. 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 Nice. They're playing at Southern Utah University. A helicopter hovers over the middle of the field as the two captains wait underneath it like a money bag drop crazy but they drop the football and the captains wrestle for the ball and that determines like the coin flip it's a helicopter drop instead of a a coin flip the guy on rich blue he actually the ball he gets a great bounce and he boxes out really well but then doesn't secure the ball on the initial tackle it gets loose He's able to scramble and get there first again. So they win the helicopter drop, and then they never look back. They led 43-6 to at halftime. This is either a rich dad at Rich, obviously, that has a helicopter and was like, can we do this? I'm looking to use my helicopter. But yeah, this this is a bunch of old heads getting together to get through the tape on this one. Otherwise, you don't get through the tape on this one. Fifth time. You are the tape. Fifth time that the Rich Rebels and the Monticello Buckaroos met in the state championship and i got a big issue with monticello which they i doubt they pronounce like that being nicknamed the buckaroos those are two different things monticello buckaroos that doesn't flow at all that's not they're not in the same world that was the almost a breakdown this is the more sports brought to you by DraftKings. right now all new customers who bet just five dollars will get 150 in bonus bets if your bet wins when you use code weekly so download the DraftKings sportsbook app now new customers use promo code weekly and bet just five dollars on any wager and get 150 in bonus bets if your bet wins that's promo code weekly only at the DraftKings sportsbook jim in the more sports former kennesaw state coach shows up to te- cheer his team six days after being Fired Brian Bohannon. Brian Bohannon. That's a railroad man. You already got your answer. Yeah. Uh, that's a great name. Jim. Only thing better would be Bo. Bo Bohannon. Bo Bohannon. Bo Bohannon. That's his son, though. If he goes to a town, he's the sheriff. If your name's Bo Botanon and you go to a town, you run things. So, anyways, the coach gets fired and he shows up and all the players are dapping him up and stuff. And that's nice. We He's supporting his players. They're supporting oh. him a little bit. This says former Kennesaw State coach. He's the only Kennesaw State coach in their history. He He built the program. He took them from not Division I to Division I. This is their first year in a conference, and they fired him. I looked up the AD's name because he's now who to blame, even though he was probably taking credit for all this. His first name's Milton. So, angry. Naturally angry. What's his last name? Milton. Milton, Milton. Hey, this coach, uh, unless there's skeletons, right, or Milton's family hangs out with Brian a lot, you know, uh, scandal. I don't know yet. I don't if know yet. If there's scandal, <laughs> right. I'll change my mind. Okay. As of now, Milton uh, is jealous. Jim, you actually unearthed this story with a little help from NPR, but the Swedish minister has a bit of a unique phobia. She's the gender equality minister. Her name's Paulina Brandberg. I was going to go three. Well, she's got a phobia of bananas, and it's serious. They send emails. These are some of the quotes in the emails. This quote said, no bananas are allowed on the premises. And then another email said, Mm. there should be no traces of bananas in the spaces 
Brandberg would be during a meeting. Traces, spaces, rhyme there, so that could be fun. No traces of bananas in the spaces. You got to figure it out, Zach, but some music. Okay. Um, then this is what I like, Jake. Yeah. Her staff that sends all these emails on her behalf, they sent this email. Paulina Brandberg has a strong allergy to bananas, so it would be appreciated that there are no bananas in the areas where she will be staying, which is a lie, and they're just embarrassed by having to do this request for their boss. Paulina herself, responds to the email and says it's sort of an allergy yeah. you could say it's something i get professional help with so she even chimed in like well hold up it's not an actual allergy Can't they're lying for that, me yeah. because they're embarrassed by this and this is a page right out of your book you're allergic to coconut yeah every time i eat it i spit it out i go Ugh. it was gross <laughs> She's just allergic from being in the same room, you know? Seen a lot of people question his coconut allergy. You never find me eating coconut, not going... For a reason. Yeah, it makes my whole mouth taste bad. Why'd you say right? Zach knows. He agrees. All right, to finish the show, we got a little roundup for you because there was too much good stuff to not talk about. Neuroscience taught rats how to drive tiny cars, and then the rats took them out on joyrides. Which I don't know if that I don't know the point of that study, but it happened. Smuggler caught with hundreds of tarantulas attached to their body they said it's worth a lot of money is it we just keep hearing that and i don't think it is four people in los angeles have been arrested on an insurance scam they dressed up in a bear costume and then tore apart the inside of their cars and then claimed insurance on uh, bears attacking their cars there's footage they they film themselves they don't even fill out the suit they're they're bad bad job by them norwegian fishermen hunting for halibut caught a u.s nuclear sub net in the water we caught a big fish you caught a sub. They let him go, and then they just kind of called it. And everyone's like, we're cool. The rules of the ocean are bullshit. Investigators believe that this Wisconsin kayaker faked his own death before fleeing to Eastern Europe. The reasons? Well, he said he lost his passport, attained a new one. His family was like, we found his old one. It wasn't really gone. Then they went on his laptop, which he had cleared, but they found all this stuff about him talking to a woman in Uzbekistan and life insurance policy and like everything that you could possibly need to say he's alive and uh, in Uzbekistan. Last name Borgwart. <laughs> so there's a reason he left. 43 Rhesus monkeys. Escaped the South Carolina research facility. Police warn residents to secure doors and windows. Yeah, from the monkeys they let loose. Um, that's, that's a, they said, like, we haven't done experiments on them yet, which is kind of ugly both ways. This raccoon dropped from the ceiling at LaGuardia Airport, and it did not want to drop. So let's not get upset about it. It hangs on for dear life on the cord for a while. Like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. He didn't want to be there. Just the same man. No one else wanted him to be there. Spirit. That was a weekly dumb. What's Milton's fucking last name? Because it better not be cool. It's not. Is there a good name, last name for Milton? Like Milton Bradley, I think of him. That's the name. That's the name, I know. But is there a Milton Marks? Is that kind of cool? That's Groucho Marx. Oh, Milton Morgan. That's not good. I didn't hate that. Milton McDonald. Milk I think Mac. if you can go M and M, you can make it work. Alliteration. And, and everyone helps. just goes, "Oh, your first name is Milton." Milton Stewart. That'd be a bad name. Awful name. Milton Bohannon. Okay, I have Milton's name. Milton Overton. How's Milton? The last two letters of Milton spelled T O N and Overton T O N Milton it's a Overton. Good bounce back by him, Milton Overton. God, it does kind of have a flow to it. All right, Bohannon, you're out. Does he have hair? 